Hey family, today is the 30th of August and the police and SWAT are all at Chris Brown's house. Now they have just confiscated Ray J's vehicle and questioning him. Let me let me let y'all listen. They are being they're being checked out here. They're being checked for for any weapons. They will detain these individuals. I'm not certain if they'll arrest any of them, but they will detain them. Ask them what happened. If they were there, they saw this alleged incident. Again, Chris Brown pulling uh, a weapon uh, uh, on this actress, and they're checking each one out. It doesn't appear that any of uh, any of these uh, individuals are, uh, I should say, uh, is Chris. Um, it looks like a couple of females and a few males all being checked out and interviewed by detectives from the Los Angeles Police Department. So definitely uh, some movement here. Where Chris is, if he's still inside, he's choosing not to come out, that's unclear at this time, but officers have made their way into the property, meaning that it's very likely that a warrant uh, has been produced and has been served. Uh, uh, again, that's speculation on our part. A legal team has made entrance. Again, here's, uh, here's a female being checked out. All of these individuals uh, apparently were inside Chris's home, Chris Brown's uh, home, here last night for this get-together when this alleged incident occurred. So uh, as you can see, people coming out of the home here, the Tarzana home of singer Chris Brown. Uh, haven't seen Chris uh, as of yet, uh, but police officers uh, are definitely uh, making some movement here. So they're going to talk to each one of these individuals, check them out. You see them, some yeah. of them being patted yeah. down. Yeah, that's wow. right. Checking, uh, checking for weapons, and that was a that was a LAPD officer, a female officer. Whenever there's a female involved, they have a female officer uh, do the checking uh, for uh, for that uh, individual. And uh, that gentleman right there with the red hat has been one who's been coming and going throughout the morning. Uh, the gentleman there with the hat is part of the LAPD contingency. You can see some officers right, right. Uh, in uniform. Fine, motherfucker. That's a cop. God damn. Let's listen in. Ascertain their statements as to what occurred early this morning. Until everybody's interviewed, witnesses, uh, all potential people that were in that residence, until they are interviewed, we cannot determine until we, we cannot provide you any more information on what actually occurred until we get all that information. So, uh, with that being said, that's where we're at right now. And that's arrested. No. Nobody's been arrested. Nobody's been arrested. Can you confirm that a gun was, that he put a gun in a woman's face? I cannot confirm that at this time. I cannot confirm that at this time. We're inside the house at the time. I have no clue until they talk to everybody who was in there that, that we can find out exactly how many people were in there. I cannot confirm that at that time. Is he cooperating now? Have you never hold him yet? Like I said, everybody's being removed from the house in conjunction with his representatives and Mr. Brown as well. So again, just to be clear, he has not been arrested, he's not been made contact with the Genoa, except his attorney is with him. Currently, he's uh, in the residence, they're all going to be coming out, and his attorney's there. What's the other way to inside the house this morning when this happened? I'm sorry? Why does homicide division get involved? Usually, homicide takes over cases like this when it's high-profile individuals. Is Chris Brown cooperating? I'm sorry. Cooperating. Uh, right now, we're getting cooperation from everybody who's involved. Yes. Yes, we got a search warrant. Yes. Lieutenant, is there any other incident that you're investigating other than what happened this morning regarding Mr. Brown? Currently, just the incident that happened this morning is what we're investigating. That's correct. Okay. That's all we have right now is that we have a woman that called for help around 3 o'clock this morning. Patrol officers responded. Uh, they, they, they got her. They talked to her a little bit. Um, the investigators have to talk to her, talk to any witnesses, and also witnesses that may be inside the residence. So that's where we're at right now. And it's, well, the fact that it, the incident occurred in this residence, so that's how it no idea what was going on. But you're not confirming that he pulled a gun at you. You're not confirming. I'm not confirming anything at that point. That's well, that I'm, sorry. I'm sorry? I, I cannot confirm that at this time. Well, Terry, are they talking about the Kid Cali case as well? Can you tell us? I have no idea other than the incident that occurred this morning. From my knowledge, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen her. I, I don't know if there's any injuries. Or 
they're currently making sure everybody comes out first before we do a protective search. See there, there's not a whole lot that they can confirm at this time. Basically, we've heard that nobody has been arrested. They had secured a search warrant, and they're only investigating the incident that happened allegedly today. We'll have more for you at 5 o'clock. We'll see you. Yes. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. We are at Fox LA. And see his three postings on Instagram, oh, right? Yeah. Chris Brown, also the topic of our poll. Do you believe him when he says he's innocent? He says that apparently police got a call that a woman says she was threatened with a gun. Go to foxla.com and vote. Watch our coverage. And vote. We'll also have results at 5.30. All right. So far, neither Chris Brown or anybody else has been arrested. And the rapper has been allowed to go back inside his home. The LAPD raced there just after 3 this morning after a woman dialed 911. The drama is unfolding. Chris Brown finally emerges from his Tarzana compound after refusing to come out for the better part of 10 hours. Police had to come to his home to investigate allegations. He pulled a gun on a woman early this morning. Brown posted on Instagram after police arrived. Barricaded myself in my house. Have you seen my house? I'm going to barricade myself in a palace. I'm not going out for what? Police say they got a hysterical 911 call from the woman who said Brown threatened her while she was partying at his home. That woman identified herself on TMZ Live as beauty pageant winner Bailey Curran. Curran said she was just admiring some jewelry from Brown's jewelry. Oh, shit. I saw a diamond cross necklace, and I touched it. And I said, oh, this one's pretty. Simply touched it, did not pick it up, didn't, you know, take it, nothing like that. Curran went on to say Brown's friends began yelling at her, and then Brown himself got involved. He pulled out his gun, pointed at me, said, get the F out. Curran said she fled the house and called police. When officers tried to contact Brown, he was being uncooperative, according to police. Brown taunted them on social media as investigators tried to get a search warrant to look for the gun. Good luck. When you get the warrant or whatever you need to do, you're going to walk right up in here and you're going to see nothing. You idiots. It's only when Brown's attorney, Mark Garagos, arrived... Nigga, shut up, though, nigga. Door. Police say at Damn, least... Damn, Chris. ...still inside the home. They trickled down the driveway one by one as police let them go, but they wouldn't say much. Black Lives Matter. Can you tell us what happened inside the house last night? Black Lives Matter. Friends at Brown's home said Curran isn't telling the truth. According to them, Brown was getting tattooed, and then he went to bed. Curran responded to the allegations on her own Instagram. Oh. Tell him, Chris. That's fucked up. Just a little bit too much, ladies and gentlemen. You guys had SWAT at this young man's house. You guys had helicopters and all this shit over this man's house. charging this young man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
LAPD, they're holding a quick news conference. They're talking about the latest on what's happening at the home of Chris Brown, telling us right there, Chris Brown is going to be arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. Mm. Yeah, according to TMZ, a mm. uh, uh, weapon was found at the home and drugs. Of course, as soon as we get any more updates, we will bring those to you. Today, the two presidential candidates are on opposite sides of the country. Hillary Clinton is concentrating Save him, on the Run in the mill, mid-30s, multi-millionaire, celebrity, you would think, oh, it's clearly being set up. Everyone saw what he did in Rihanna. And so you have a man who has history and domestic violence is all about control. And we have a woman who's very well spoken who says the man took a gun and put it to my forehead. I'm surprised he wasn't charged with kidnapping, to be honest with you. The way this played out on social media with Chris Brown doing his postings on Instagram, holding off police until his attorney got there. If you're Mark Garagos, what are you telling your client right now? Write me a big check. Um, I don't think that would be funny, but it's just like this is a, a, a situation that repeats over and over and over again. Nigga, but you've been, uh, been on uh, Shield Nice payroll and... and is they don't believe that he come on, dog. Damn, nigga. And Mark Aragos is phenomenal. He's, he's phenomenal at this, but at some point in time, you get to a point where like, I can't help it, kid. And you have a woman who says, without question, uh, you put a gun to my head, you move me, that's kidnapping. I don't think it's assault with a deadly weapon. You have guns and drugs in a house where you you are a convicted mm. felon for being a person. It, it's, it's, it's disastrous. And him getting on the Instagram. Instagram and saying using the N word and all this stuff. And, and, and holding police at day for nine hours. Well, here's the thing about it. It's like you, your built in jury pool or young people or people identify with you. They're my door. When you're saying, I'm just like, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter, I almost fell over. And like, you, you live in a very, very wealthy, predominantly Caucasian area. Yes, you make millions yes. of dollars, you do nothing wrong. But he, 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 <laughs> exactly, that's exactly it. But he, he kept saying, I, I, I've done nothing wrong, and police obviously felt otherwise, because they're going to arrest him now on this. But Christina, you hear over and over the N-word, the N-word, and not this, and he's trying to put himself in the position of, the young minority kids and young guys who are out there getting, whether legitimately harassed or illegitimately harassed, he is a very wealthy person who thinks he can do whatever he wants. And the biggest problem you have now, you have a very credible witness. Okay, so I'm still a little skeptical on this, but you say we have a credible witness, one witness there, that was the other woman who had begun was pulled on, and then you saw all of his buddies that are coming out of the house, half of them are just saying like, he didn't do anything, he didn't do anything, they're all going to corroborate the same right. story. So then you go to court, this turns into a she said, many he says, or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, di di conflicting stories about what ex exactly happened. Well, Bobby, how does this here's, the part, how does well, it, 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 here's the part too well. If you choose that like you're a, a blood gang member, and you hang out like you're a hardcore rapper, gangster, and you only have people around you who are hardcore gangster rappers, even though it's all made up, then you come to court, people are going to look at them and go, what do you do for a living, sir? I work for Mr. Brown. What do you do for the day? I work for Mr. Brown. When's the last time you guys were up at 3, 4 in the morning and some bag of guns and drugs got thrown out your window? Mm -hmm. it, it Let me happen. ask you this. Uh, the way it was handled with police, when police get this call from 911, uh, the woman says the gun was uh, held at point pointed at her, and then he says, no, get a search warrant to police. Mm -hmm. can, can you do that? The police were very, very conscientious. That's all I got to say. The reality is if you uh, if the police come upon a situation where you have a fleeing or a violent felony or something's going on, it's an emergent situation, they can go in right away and get a warrant later. We have a situation where arguably there's a gun, but nobody was immediately at risk. So the better practice is they pull back and say, we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit. The warrant's coming. There, there's no doubt we're getting a warrant. So do whatever you have to do. They usually turn off the, the water so you can't flush stuff down the toilet. But it's coming. Um, so what they did was very, very, um, it was very professional. They conducted it perfectly. No one got hurt. No one got shot. No matter how much provocation Chris tried to throw out there, which I think it was, um, it, it went exactly as planned. Um, but they didn't really need a warrant to get it, but they got a warrant. But more importantly, you have a witness who says, this is what happened. She hasn't changed her story. Um, this isn't a situation where she appeared to be loaded or on drugs. She was someone chasing fame. Test that bitch, though. Yeah. Yeah. Test that bitch, though. And how does it sound? 
Because, bitch, if you in the house and everybody's smoking dope, what you doing? You on sweet tea? Sit down, bitch. You knew the terms and conditions when you came up in this man's house at 3 o'clock in the morning. This some, this, this, this that old school ass Mike Tyson shit. I admit he need to calm the fuck down, but damn, I mean, what do you expect? The, the young man, he's, he's filthy rich, he's on pussy right now, he got the best shit money can buy, and he wilding the fuck out. He needed his ass whooped about 14, 15 years old, that really apparently didn't take place, so this is what you got. But is he, you know, a real bad guy? No, I don't believe so. Fuck that. But but I know what LAPD and them can do. My brother is serving 45 to life. I know what the police can do in LA. So I don't really believe too much of this right here. This is some bullshit. This is a conspiracy theory. This bitch got mad. They didn't want that motherfucking pussy that she was trying to give up. And it was a wrap. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, baby's calling. Bye.